Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I view, test, and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we're looking at the Sunatina Horn. I'm going to give this one a 2.5 out of 5. It's not the best horn plugin out there by far, but sometimes that's what you want. You know, I've said this before in so many other videos, sometimes when I'm producing, I don't want a perfect sounding horn. I might want something a little bit cheesier, something that I can resample or kind of, kind of manipulate however I want. So just playing it right off the bat. Sounds almost like an electric piano a little bit, like a slight bit. So I will say, like I said, there's other horn plugins out there with a lot better sound quality, but you know, it's not too, too bad, I will say. And you know, I think when, when it comes to the Suntino Orchestra set, it's an iconic set, legendary when it comes to orchestral VSTs, really the first one, in my opinion, that was super well known. And as you can see here, for a lot of these Suntino Orchestra instruments, we have different articulation settings. So we have the horn sustain, sustain two, and staccato. So let's play those. This one to me sounds a little bit more realistic. I'm trying to remember what those two notes were from The Dark Knight with Hans Zimmer. I can't remember. He talked about that, especially in, I haven't got it yet, but I know he did like the master class. You may have even seen it too. I know a bunch of the master classes for Hans Zimmer have appeared on my videos as ads. And he has that one where he talks about the two French horns when he did the score for The Dark Knight. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. But I don't think he used this VST, if you want to be honest. He probably had like a super expensive horn VST for that score. This one seems a bit more soft, like maybe more piano. And then lastly, the horn staccato. So this one isn't too bad, I feel like. Like if I want to use something for a track, like. I don't know, something like that. 